Elaine. Yeah. Pumpkin. I'm trying to click my heels. I'm sure Robert can. <laughs> hey, Jackson, your turn. Oh, is it? It's just so nice. Are you getting down this blocking? Are you getting down the blocking? No, you're not, because Wes is distracting you. And it's a happy environment, like everyone is so fun and friendly. It's been Shut up! Favorite part of the show. Favorite part of the show. I gotta say it's tech week. I <laughs> love tech week so much. I know a lot of people hate it, but like just wait. I'm so excited. Come drink the I love her. She's like this larger than life type character. I call her the superhero of the play. I see her as my backstory, right? I made a backstory and she like the first woman to like be a pilot and she black and you know, like the odds are against her cause it's like the 1920s and she like um tricks. Fight, I think it's gonna be fun. I'm turned, I'm lit, the cast is turned, the cast is lit. We professional, we serious, we on and popping. We trying to get this bloomy film. I get this money over here. So yeah. Now some people say that he was a bad actor, but to those people I say shut up. I play Robert Martin. Robert Martin is a out there character who sees in himself that's sort of conceited, but he has the emotions of other people's feelings, like Janet, because he's marrying Janet Vandergraaf, so is that like to work across from Jessica Shane? It's amazing, like her voice, her talent, like I never expected this, like we met a year ago and I've never thought that a year ago from now I'll be playing her fiance, <laughs> so it's kind of like... What's the hardest part about playing her? Trying to get his corniness, corniness in, that's what's hard about playing him. Cold Can you reach the tissue box from here? Wow. Is she gonna... uh, I died. Wait a minute. I tried. Well. So are you clumsy or are you just abused by God? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I am the one, don't wait your time, don't need a gun to get respect upon this. Of course, the other day I said the stupidest thing to Jessica. Like, she said that she's from West Virginia, and I asked if people from West Virginia, what do they call it? Like, people from South Carolina or South Carolinians. Yeah, I didn't think about Virginians. 
Shall so, they virgins? Yeah. West virgins. West virgins? That's what I said. I said the West virgin. Hey, what's up, blah? the West virgin. <laughs> the reason we can't walk through mirrors is because our reflection is blocking us. Oh, you want, wait. Just, just back up top. I don't know. How hard are you guys working? We are working so hard on this show right now. Like you can tell, I'm dripping with sweat. Barely. Right now, we are working, and it's just you have no idea how much we're working right now. We are working so much. We are working so much right now. We have done nothing but work and work and work and work. We are working so much on this show. We are we are working so much. Like we're working so hard and so much. I'm sweating so much. Working so much. I play gangster number two. I play gangster number one. They moved from a foreign country and they came to America and their names got changed and everything. And by a sarcastic immigration official. Yeah. So uh, and they now work for a big boss man who is the largest single investor in Felton's Follies. And he has sent them there as pastry chefs. To um, do something with Mr. Grand Depress and Tending Vegetables. Yeah. So yeah, basically we're just there to stop the wedding. Specifically that if she gets married and leaves the show, then there ain't no show. Dynamic duo. Yeah. Like stylized wordplay movement stuff. Basically, we're just two people against one is better, always. So we're both there to threaten the Elton, so he can't get his way around us. Mm -hmm. We're always together. Have you ever spent any time in Toledo? Have you ever spent any time in a coma? They, uh, they're supposed to be intimidating, but they're not. Yeah. And like the dances and just word plays, funny. I love Toledo Surprise, and I also really like um, like our movements in the first scene that we're in. We hope that we have made ourselves perfectly a clear one cannoli. Oh, you biscotti kid! I tried for lunch. Don't talk with me. All right, the boys can drop the pastry chef. Oh, that's the ganache. Run a lamb. Lamb's an entree. You macaroon. Our last name is Tall, but it's really ironic because we're both very short. I would say very short, I'll get there. Well, you're like five foot, five one, maybe? Five one, oh I'm my five God. foot, you're five one. I'm not five one. Okay, five two. Five, five, no, five one and a half, like five two, five two and a half. Jeez. Split your whites, split your yolks, then you got splatito. Toledo surprise. Um, I, I've been on Ensemble before, but not for NAFO, and I've always found Ensemble to be a very close-knit group of people, and I found that they kind of tend to stray away from the leads, but here it's different. The leads and the Ensemble, we're all friends, nobody's really differentiated because of what role they got, and it's really nice to be part of like a big family with like leads and Ensemble in the same kind of group. The musical obviously has way more people in it. So you don't get to have that sort of bond with everyone that you'd like to. I mean, you can try, but I mean, they're not going to be, you're going to have sort of um, between loose and tight bonds with everybody. But, I mean, in the play, it was only like eight people, so you could have a tight bond with everybody. But in the musical, you kind of have to pick and choose. Um, although in the musical, you don't have to bear as much weight, only eight people you know, eight people gotta pull this entire thing together. There's like 25 to 30 people in the musical. The load's not as heavy. What would you describe your character to be as? Um, my character's name is Beth Winters. She is working as a maid for Mrs. Tottendale. She is saving up money so that she can go on to Broadway because her idol is Janet Vandegraaff and she cannot believe that she is meeting her at the Tottendale Mansion. 
which is another reason I love ensemble because you can just make up your character. Alright, you're all wrong. It's so disappointing, isn't it? You know what I do when I'm sitting in a darkened theater waiting for a show to begin? I pray. Dear God, please let it be a good show. Be taken to another world. A world full of party. For the rich, anyway. So I dug about, what did I find? One of my favorite shows, The Drowsy Chaperone. Hey, God damn it. And I oh, showed up. Why do you look so good? Right? Just dance. I play Kitty, the incomprehensible. And she acts just like me, but she's even dumber. I choreographed the show. Um, even though I didn't know until two weeks before rehearsal, but it's okay. okay. Wait, 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 slow down. It's like. Did you go one more time? All right, hun. Walk. You gotta walk faster, nice. Let's go back, go back, go back, go back. You gotta walk faster. I gotta take bigger steps. Big steps, yeah. Okay. Ready? We will be the walk. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up, up, down, down, turn. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. The hardest part of choreographing this year was definitely trying to balance uh, one of the featured roles and choreographing the show together. Whereas last year I was an ensemble member and I choreographed the show, which was a little easier. My favorite part of the show would have to be marrying Matt Davis. <laughs> Because I do love him dearly and I will miss him so much. Played by Beatrice Stockwell, so I'm playing Beatrice Stockwell playing the Drowsy Chaperone, and um, she's a diva, so I get to play a diva playing a drunk diva, I guess. Where's the bar? She just wants me to release my inner bitch. We're not gonna be able to put this part on the um, website. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the show so far? Oh my gosh. So far? Um, I like doing Toledo Surprise, I think that's a fun dance. I'm always the one who's like, let's get up and dance. to explain that it was an accident <laughs> waiting to happen. Uh, Neil, I'm very sorry that I made you feel that way. Um, it was unexpected, unplanned. I just want to say I'm sorry. But look how good my outfit looks today. Look how good I look. It's been really fun. Um, I think this is the most time I've ever spent 
at the school after school because like I'm here almost every single day but uh, we've been doing a lot of work and uh, we've been getting a lot done and I've I've really enjoyed it and I think this is my favorite um, tech that we've had so far like the people inside of it and stuff it's like I, I just love everyone in it uh, well I've uh, met a lot of new people this year because like um, some people did the play and I wasn't able to work on that so there's more people and I've been just making friends with like everyone and the people that I've met previously like Mary Anderson stuff like we're like even closer now I think which is really nice and fun and I just I just love everyone on here